Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your review application into Firebase. You know we have an existing project and I will show you how you can deploy it to Firebase. In the previous video, we learned about different way of the checkout in Stripe. And I told you that if you are going to use the server checkout, you have to have a server. So if I scroll down, basically there is two steps to configure a Stripe payment in your server. The first step is to create a checkout in to create a checkout station in your server and the second step is to create a checkout in your client or in your website. So the first step you need to have a server. For us this is a view application so the server for us is going to be Firebase. If you are uh, if you are going to host your code on Firebase, you have to deploy it into Firebase. So here you know we are going to write node.js code so if i come to the node.js tab this is the code we want to have in our server so let's start creating our server in the firebase uh, by deploying to the firebase this is my application i haven't deployed this one this is from three months ago and i'll try to finish up this series to start the new one so i hope i can record more videos after this and if i come to my project folder here I will just open the terminal okay here I will open PowerShell and make sure you have the Firebase tools in install here if you go to the Firebase tool in GitHub just copy this command and you can install it globally then you will have access to the Firebase command I know by default you don't have it make sure you in you run your uh, terminal or your PowerShell as administrator to be able to install it globally. This is not only uh, for Firebase. Anytime you install any CLI tool or command line tool, make sure you run your uh, your CMD or command line as administrator. That way it will uh, download the executable file in your app data for your application. So if I come here in the command line, I have Firebase by default so if I run Firebase here it is going to give me the Firebase uh, commands everything we need here in this video I will show you how you can deploy an existing project but in the next video I will show you how you can deploy a new project a new view project because this is an old one of course there is an update available so I'm not going to update but for the next video I will update that one so here is how you can deploy your project we are in the current project directory if you are following along from the beginning your project should be the same but if you are new since version 6 to version 7 there has been a lot of changes so let's initialize it you can run firebase in it and it is going to initialize firebase in your application it will create some files i will show you if you see any error i will fix the error and you will learn along with me so i will press enter and it will take for a while and this is going to ask you are you going to proceed in this folder you can say yes and now this is going to ask you which of this uh, the firebase uh, feature you are going to use this is mostly what you do in the beginning of your project we didn't do this one because we were deciding to do some other stuff also like i was doing everything graphically i was not re using the cli tool to create all of this stuff so for now we'll use Firestore for our database and we will use the cloud functions for the creating node.js code we'll use the hosting for creating a custom domain and the storage for uploading our file i don't need to use the database database was the old real-time database i don't need that one and then you know when i am here i just press space to select them so make sure you do that one and then at the end you can press enter now it is going to create your application the next thing they are going to ask is which program or which app you want to deploy it. From here also you can select. For now, if I come here, this is the view shop. I'm going to deploy my code there. So this was already there. We have created every other details. If you create, uh, if you use the create new, it will create a new project for you. I don't recommend you to do that one. For now, you have to create it. You uh, create your. Uh, project manually and then add it to that one so i will click this one and now it is going to ask you for firebase firestore rules where should i put them i will talk about rules 
uh, in the future video but for now it will just create a fire store rule for me as a fire store dot rule I will say yes you press enter and it will create the file for you and then it will go to the next step the next step is the indices so again I will press enter it should create an indices dot json file here and then it will ask you for the language I'm going to use JavaScript of course and it is going to say you want ESLint hub I say no I don't want that you press N enter and now it is going to ask you do you want to install dependencies now I say yes it will take a while to install the dependencies I will just pause the video for a while now the next step is to create uh, your public directory it is going to ask you do you want to use your public directory I say yes we have a public directory and now it is going to ask you is this a single page application you can say yes or no for this one if you say no it is going to create a 404 that, that HTML for you I will just say no for now I will maybe I can say yes because that is a single page application we are using the view router and the, for the storage we are going to say yes just create uh, it is not a question you press enter and it will create everything you need now Firebase initialization is complete if I open my project here and I open the sidebar coming to the changes we have these are all the files Firebase have created for us so these are the changes we have here and everything about firebase.rc uh, and firebase.json and everything here now once you have it here the next command is to deploy it you can just run the Firebase deploy and it will deploy your application into the Firebase and it will create a custom domain for you if I run this command now it is going to take a while if every sitting in your application is correct it will compile otherwise it is going to throw some errors so let's see if this is fine and it is going to deploy it will uh, check everything here and it will take a while so just wait a, a few seconds it will be done yes it is done now and this URL is going to be your hosting URL I'm going to copy this URL and we will come to the browser and let's open it if we can access our application here if you open it it is going to show you this message here and it's for the beginner people it is a little confusing why it is showing this because this is your application now so if I come to my app here they have created some files for you I will just commit it and I will say Firebase in it done so this is going to be our commit and now in the folder directory I will close every other open file here you know this is the dot firebase file folder they have created we have the functions which is going to be the cloud function and here is a directory called y and if you open this one you have an index.html and this is the code you are seeing in the browser here so if I scroll down here is the welcome firebase hosting complete and you are seeing this because you have successfully set up your firebase you can remove it but this is not what we want this is not the public directory of our application or it is not the home directory of our application our home directory of our application is public and then the html where you set up this one so basically you can come to firebase.json here you can set up your public directory for us it is not the public directory in fact it is going to be a disk folder how you do that one you can set up a public directory here and it, it works fine but for me what I am going to do is instead of that I am going to say npm run build to build our view app this command is from Vue.js and if you run this one it is going to compress your project and it will create a disk folder for you we haven't done it before and it will create a fresh or a new disk folder for us so we will wait for a while until it is going to prepare our app for production then we can set up our directory you can do it now and it is going to be this of, the, of course it is going to create the folder called this so I'll pause the video until this production comment is done done now we have our disk directory here here is the disk directory and if I save my file based on JSON file you come here you refresh it nothing works why it doesn't happen because whenever you change anything it will not happen in the server this code that run it is going to be in the server in the firebase server but the code we have here is locally 
Every time you're bidding any changes, make sure you're going to run the file based deploy. This is mostly happening at the end of the day, like you write all your code and you check everything on your local server and you're ready to deploy it in your server and then you run file based deploy and it is going to deploy your file. It will not take uh, more than a few seconds. It is done now and if I come this time I refresh my application here now it is showing our application online now I can come to the cart here we don't have anything in the cart we don't show any empty so this is how you can create your app add something to the cart going to the checkout and everything works fine but this time you have a HTTPS URL here and you can share it with anyone you want for now this is just a static application and it does not have any security rules uh, so uh, whatsoever so we will talk about uh, how you can configure a stripe in the future videos for now but in the next video i will show you how you can deploy a fresh view application into firebase it might not be necessary you might not watch it but for those people who are watching newly there has been a lot of changes in the new version of firebase so you might see those errors and you might ask of why it is not working for me so oh, i hope the uh, next video will solve your problem and i will see you in the next video so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching